a Filipino culture, Filipino people, Filipino language, and everything Filipino never cease to amaze me. I always learn new things about the Philippines every single day. And in this episode, we're going to discuss words that only Filipinos use, words that only Filipinos say, and as a foreigner, you'll find them confusing. Even if you learn the language, you still can't understand these words. Over here, I have about six words that only Filipinos use. So we're going to start with my favorite Filipino word. Now to make this video a little bit interesting and engaging, I want you to guess what the word is. I'm gonna give you a hint. Now, this can be the shortest or considered to be the shortest Filipino word. I've noticed that my girlfriend uses it all the time. She uses it with other words. She uses it as a phrase at the end of uh, sentences, in questions, and so on. Here's an example. Thank you, Po. Okay, so your guess is right, Po. Now, this is my favorite word because Filipinos use it a lot to show politeness. So, I think. No, I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you what the word is. It's a compound noun, and Filipinos use it when they have difficulty communicating in English or speaking in English. And here is an example. Nosebleed. Okay, so the word is nosebleed. Nosebleed. Bleed. Now, if you check in the dictionary, it's no a nosebleed is bleeding from the nose but Filipinos use it to say that they have difficulty speaking in English. Okay, so this is the third word. This word is very unique in the Philippines and it can only be used in the Philippines. And this word means restroom and washroom or toilet or WC depending on where you are in the world. So for example, in Canada, we use the term washroom and sometimes toilet. So in the Philippines, they use CR. CR. CR stands for comfort room. Now, also, I think restroom is closer to comfort room. So you can either say rest, restroom or comfort room. But if you say it in other countries, it might be confusing. You can say restroom, but in the Philippines, comfort room. Okay, so this word is also very unique uh, in the Philippines. and many filipinos use it i don't know in which context do they use it but it also means i think yes and the word is oh oh okay oh 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 okay so this one means yes and i think this one also means yes and also, um, because they use it, for example, when they say, thank you, Po. So, thank you, yes. So it means, I think it has a different meaning. I'm not quite sure, I'm still learning. Okay, but I think they're somehow similar, Po and O-O. Now, this word is very unique. The way it's spelled is different. And it's a compound word. It's made of two words, low and then battery. But the way it's spelled is low bat. So I think low bat is short for low battery, meaning your cell phone is running on a low battery or is about to be drained. So in the Philippines, especially my girlfriend, notice she said uh, low bat. So I think this is what it means. The last word on my list is basta and I couldn't find the meaning of basta. It says stunned or shocked or amused. But when you check, when you try to see how the word is used, for example, the way my girlfriend uses it is a little bit different. It doesn't mean stunned. So I'm not sure what basta means. And there you have it. These are my favorite uh, Filipino words. So I have not really learned these words. I'm gonna keep learning them and learn their proper pronunciation. 
So if I've made a mistake or if I mispronounce a few words here, please uh, correct me and see you in the next episode.